They were held by rebels in southern Syria for three days, but they got out unharmed. 21 UN peacekeepers crossed into Jordan on Saturday evening after their ordeal drew international concern about the safety of UN personnel in Syria. Jordanian officials, the Philippines' ambassador to Amman, as well as representatives from the UN, greeted the peacekeepers here at the Jordanian Armed Forces headquarters. God willing, tonight the peacekeepers will be handed over to the United Nations, and we are glad to see these happy faces among their brothers in Jordan. The Filipino peacekeepers are part of the UN Disengagement Observer Force that has been monitoring a ceasefire line between Syria and Israel in the Golan Heights since 1974. They were seized by the El Yarmouk Martyrs Rebel Brigade on Wednesday in the village of Jamla. We demand that in order to release those held by the Yarmouk Brigade, the US, UN and Security Council should accompany the Syrian government forces back to their bases. This is the only way they will be released. But after their capture, rebels described them as guests rather than hostages and said they would be freed once government forces withdrew from Jamla and stopped shelling. A brief truce was agreed on Saturday to allow a UN convoy to retrieve them inside Syria. But the rebels decided to take them to Jordan. These forces perform a sacred duty, and we can empathize with them greatly, as the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan is one of the biggest contributors to the UN peacekeeping forces. Jordan appeared surprised by the arrival of the peacekeepers at its borders. Though the Jordanian army coordinates with the rebels on issues such as transporting refugees, it was reluctant to make an agreement with the rebels on handing over hostages. Syria has also expressed its dismay at how the peacekeepers were taken to Jordan, saying the move would encourage so-called terrorists to repeat these events. The Syrian foreign ministry said Syria had complied fully with its commitment to ensure the peacekeepers' safety inside the country. Nisreen al-Shamayla al-Jazeera, Amman.